Dear students, in the previous session we discussed morphology of silkworm, silkworm genetics, anatomy and physiology of digestive system and excretory system. We have also discussed about physical and chemical properties of silk. In this session, let me introduce you to the structure of silk glands under the topic comprehending the structure of silk glands. In today's session, we are going to discuss the composition of fibroin and sericin the function of silk glands, the biodegradable materials of silk gland, the membrane, functional and medical materials. Silkworm cocoons have evolved a wide range of different structures and combinations of physical and chemical properties in order to cope with different threats and environmental conditions. In this session, we will correlate the physical properties with the structure and morphology of the cocoons. These two architectural parameters appear to be far more important than the material properties of the silk fiber themselves. The tensile and comprehensive mechanical properties and gas permeation of the cocoon walls should be considered in order to identify the mechanisms or models that relate these properties to cocoon structure, usually based upon non-woven fiber composites. These properties are of relevance also for synthetic non-woven composite materials and this will help to formulate bio-inspired design principles for new materials. Insects mainly belong to two families namely Saturnidae and Bombycidae which spins silk fiber. Bombyx mori belongs to Bombycidae produces a delicate twine thread of silk fibroin which is coated by a protective cover of sericin. Silk protein is a kind of protein like collagen, elastin, keratin, fibroin etc is an essential constituent of cocoon filament. The silk fiber protein is synthesized by silk gland cells and stored in the lumen of the silk glands. Subsequently, it is converted into silk fibers. When the silkworm secrete the liquid silk during the spinning, it passes through the anterior gland and expelled out through the spinneret opening. The quantity and nature of sericin are fundamental characteristics in conferring distinctive traits to the cocoon. Silk in its raw state consists of two main proteins namely sericin and fibroin. Fibroin being the structural center of the silk and sericin being the sticky material surrounding it. Fibroin is an insoluble protein created by spiders, the larvae of Bombyx mori, the other moth genera such as Antheria, Cricula, Samia and Gonometa and numerous other insects. The fibroin protein consists of layers of anti-parallel beta sheets. Its primary structure mainly consists of the recurrent amino acid sequence. The high glycine content allows for tight packing of the sheets which contributes to silks rigid structure and tensile strength. A combination of stiffness and toughness make it a material with applications in several areas including biomedicine and textile manufacture. The Norwegian scientist Ostrang researched the fact that silk stiffens in contact with the air. His work has been considered to be very important for the understanding of silk's behavior. Fibroin is known to arrange itself in three structures called silk 1, 2 and 3. Silk 1 is the natural form of fibroin as emitted from the bombyx mori silk glands. 
Silk 2 refers to the arrangement of fibroin molecules in spun silk which has greater strength and is often used in various commercial applications. Silk 3 is a newly discovered structure of fibroin. Silk 3 is formed principally in solutions of fibroin at an interface like uh, air water interface, water oil interface etc. Sericin is insoluble in cold water however it is easily hydrolyzed whereby the long protein molecules breaks down to smaller fractions which are easily dispersed or solubilized in hot water. Sericin protein is useful because of its special properties namely resists oxidation, antibacterial, UV resistant and absorbs and release moisture easily, inhibitory activity of tyrosine and kinase etc. Sericin a major component of silk fiber has been selectively removed from fibroin during the silk manufacturing process to make silk lustrous and the removed sericin goes as waste material. Nowadays, seri waste products and seri byproducts are used as a value added products. After degumming, the leftover is fibroin made up of two brins. Silk fiber can be used for many purposes including textile, medical and industrial applications. The silk fiber is thin, long, light and soft. It is well known for its water absorbency, dyeing affinity, thermo tolerances, insulation properties and luster. It is the raw material for producing precious fabrics, parachutes, tire lining materials, artificial blood vessels and surgical sutures. It is reported that ionic liquid could hold the key to the production of designer silk fibers with the enhanced mechanical and optical properties. The silk fibers have outstanding natural properties which rival the most advanced synthetic polymers. Yet unlike synthetic polymers, the production of silk does not require horse processing conditions. It is reported that the introduction of ionic liquids to silk processing opens an exciting avenue for controlling the microstructure to tune the macroscopic properties. It is estimated that out of about 1 million tons of cocoons produced worldwide approximately 4 lakh tons of dry cocoons are generated that have 50,000 tons of recoverable sericin. Indian production of 1600 tons of silk can be a source of about 250 to 300 tons of sericin per year. If this sericin protein is recovered and recycled, it would be a significant economic and social benefit. Silk gland, the natural silk synthesized by the silk worm and spun in the form of a silk cocoon is originally synthesized in the silk gland. Silk gland of Bombyx mori is a typical exocrine gland secreting large amount of silk proteins. It is a paired organ consisting of modified labial salivary glands located at the two lateral sides under the alimentary canal. Each gland is basically a tube made up of glandular epithelium with two rows of cells surrounding the lumen. According to its morphology and function, the silk gland can be divided into three distinct regions. The posterior part about 15 cm long and is composed of about 500 secretory cells which synthesize silk fibroin. The middle silk gland in the lumen of which silk proteins are stored until spinning is about 7 cm long and contains about 300 secretory cells producing silk sericin, the protein which cements the fibroin thread of the cocoon. The anterior part about 2 cm long is a thin duct composed of about 250 cells with no known secretory function. Application of sericin and fibroin protein. Silkworm is being used as biofactory for the production of useful protein. 
silk proteins are natural polymers and are biodegradable with reactive functional groups that open up possibility to be cross linked with other polymers to be used in controlled delivery. Like other common biomedical textiles such as polyesters, silk contains various polar functional groups that might enhance antibiotic absorption. Now let us discuss about biodegradable materials. Environment friendly biodegradable polymers can be produced by blending sericin with other resins. The polyurethane forms incorporating sericin are said to have excellent moisture absorbing and desorbing properties. Polymer films forms molding resins and fibers containing sericin can be produced by reacting a composition comprising a polyol, toluene, diisocyanate, dibutylene dilaurate and trichloromonofluoromethane in the presence of sericin. The moisture absorption desorption rate of the sericin containing polyurethane form is 2 to 5 fold greater than that of control. Other procedures have also been reported for producing sericin containing polyurethane with excellent mechanical and thermal properties. Now let us see about the membrane materials. Membrane based separations namely reverse osmosis, dialysis, ultrafiltration and microfiltration are used in process such as desalinization of water, production of extremely pure water, the bioprocessing industry and some chemical processes. Pure sericin not easily made into membranes, but membranes of sericin cross linked blended or co polymerized with other substance are made readily because sericin contains large amount of amino acid with neutral polar functional groups. Sericin and fibroin can be used to make membranes for use in separation process. The insolubilized silk fibroin membrane could be used to separate the mixture of water and alcohol. Now let us see about the functional biomaterials. Sericin coated film is used on the surface of refrigeration equipment because of its anti-frosting action. Use of the coated sericin film is an effective anti-frosting method that can be widely applied to refrigerators, deep freezers and refrigerated trucks and ships. Sericin protein can be coated on surfaces of various durable materials to enhance functionality. Sericin can be used in preparation of art pigments and for surface protection articles. The material coated the sericin have excellent weather ability, good permeability and do not warp on drying. Sericin blends with the water soluble polymers especially with the polyvinyl alcohol. A blended hydrogel made of sericin and fibroin and polyvinyl alcohol is said to have excellent moisture absorbing and desorbing properties and elasticity. The hydrogel can be used as a soil conditioner and in medical materials and wound dressing. Now let us see medical biomaterials. Silkworm silk fibers have been the primary silk like materials used in biomedical applications particularly as sutures. During decades of use silk fibers have proven to be effective in many clinical applications. At the same time some biological responses to the protein have raised questions about biocompatibility. Films made of sericin and fibroin has excellent oxygen permeability and is similar to human cornea in its functional properties. It is hoped that the sericin fibroin blended film could be used to form artificial corneas. A novel mucoadhesive polymer has been prepared by template polymerization of acrylic acid in the presence of silk sericin. Silk protein can be made into biomaterial with anticoagulant properties by a sulfonation treatment of sericin and fibroin. There are evidence of 
antioxidant action of the silk protein by showing that sericin suppressed in in vitro lipid peroxidation. Furthermore, sericin also found to inhibit tyrosinase activity. These results suggest that sericin is the valuable natural ingredient for food and cosmetics. The biopolymer sericin has a strong affinity to keratin. Excessive transepidermal water loss is one of the causes of dry skin and skin moisturizers have been used to overcome it. The silk sericin has resemblance with the natural moisturizing factor. Sericin gel is prepared by using sericin solution with pluronic and carbophol as a stabilizer to prevent water loss from the upper layer of the skin. It forms a moisturizing semi occlusive protective anti wrinkle film on the skin surface imparting an immediate long lasting smooth silky feeling. The use of oxygen permeable membranes from silk fibroin and silk sericin containing about 60 percent water for contact lens, artificial skin etc. The other uses of sericin includes as a soil conditioner, coagulant for purification of waste waters, hygroscopic moisture releasing polyurethane foams and their manufacture for furniture and interior materials as additives for health foods to prevent colon cancers, medical composites of sericin, additives to rice cooking, fabric care composition, light and sunscreen composition, foam forming aerosol shaving gels, sericin coated powders for cosmetics as dermatitis inhibitor, as wound protection, film, nail cosmetics and chewing gums. Fibroin has also been explored as a biomedicine for various applications. Fibroin powder was processed in such a way to retain its natural optical beauty. A unique property of this silk powder is its ability to hold and release moisture depending on the temperature and humidity of the surroundings. Sericin and fibroin have been recently explored in the field of drug delivery system also. Studies show the properties and application of wound protective membrane made by silk fibroin. It is concluded that the fibroin membrane has good wound healing properties. The fibroin hydrogels prepared either by treating a 2 percent silk fibroin aqua solution at 4 degree temperature or by adding 30 percent glycerol could be used as a, a scaffolds able to promote in situ bone regeneration. Using fibroin controlled release tablets, gels and mesosphere have been prepared. The silk fibroin can be used as the substratum for the culture of animal cells in place of collagen. The fibroin protein is one kind of biological materials used for artificial skin and other medical application. Silk fibroin membrane supports the application as photosensor for hydrogen peroxidase analysis. In conclusion, in this session we have discussed the composition of fibroin and sericin, functions of silk glands and biodegradable materials of silk gland. We have also discussed about membrane, functional and medical materials. To summarize, the domesticated silkworm Bombyx mori, a lepidopteran molecular model and an important economic insect that are emerging as an ideal molecular genetic resource for solving a broad range of biological problems. The silkworm Bombyx mori produces massive amount of silk proteins during the final stage of larval development. These proteins are stored in the middle silk gland and they are discharged through the anterior duct and spinneret at the end of the fifth instar. Two kinds of silk proteins have been distinguished as major components of silk cocoons, the first being fibroin, the fibrous protein composed of heavy chain, light chain and glycoprotein linked by disulfide bonds and the second being sericin, a natural macromolecular protein 
serving as an adhesive to unite fibroin for making silk cocoons of silkworm bombyx mori. Recently, silkworm is being used as biofactory for the production of useful protein using the silk gland which has promoted the technological development in sericulture. With the above background, silkworm can be classified as a valuable added biomaterial for medical application, application of silk protein, fibroin and sericin as a biomaterial and other seri byproducts. Thank you.